Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I am uh, grateful that Jack Stockin was willing to pick up the phone again when I called having had trouble with another hand. Hey, Jack, there's another hand I had a lot of trouble with. I'm hoping you can help us out. Hi, Bajir. This call's long distance. It's costing me money. Let's use Skype. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, so to quickly set this hand up, everyone who played it went down. Yeah. But half of those of us who played it went down two, half yeah. went down one. Yeah. You'll see we're missing some key trump cards and the distribution of where the remaining trumps are is not great. So how do we minimize our losses when we're in a tricky spot? Okay, yeah, because let's face it, one down is going to be a much better result than two down, isn't it? It is. So here we are. Here's the hand. Um, help us out, Jack. Talk us through it. Sure. Just very quickly on the auction, because quite a lot of the viewers are Ackle players. Most Ackle players would open one no trump uh, with five, three, three, two, even with the five card major. Mm. Um, and actually they'd end up in three no trump. So that's a different story. But uh, as you know, robots um, on BBO play five card majors and strong no trump. So actually they, on this hand, they get to the better contract of four spades. Uh, three okay. no trumps is not a good contract on a heart lead. Uh, but that's just the bidding. Uh, let's have a look to see. Well, it's a, not a good hand to lead from... Um, you, know, you don't want to lead a trump. Diamonds have been bid. I'd probably go with the three of hearts here. Okay. And let's West see. West is going to be happy with that. Yeah. It's not a great lead leading from three to the jack, but it's kind mm. of the best of a bad job. King of hearts, cheaper of touching honors for third player. And when the robots played this Hampshire, they just played another heart, uh, ace of hearts, then switched to a trump, but... It's better actually to switch to a trump straight away, uh, seeing that Declare is probably going to create the void in dummy. So king of spades. This is a very common mistake. People don't see to create a void in dummy. All right. So we've now created the void in dummy. Let's say they switch... Well, they're not going to play another heart. Let's say they switch to a diamond. And so by creating that, avoid, that void in hearts, we have a better tack than just to play out the trumps, which we know are not going to work out so hot Correct. for us. That's why some people went two down on this hand. They lost mm. three heart tricks and the queen jack of spades for two down. So we can limit our losses now by playing the nine of hearts. And roughing, well, I might as well go with the ten of spades. Trumping high. Do mm. you see, that's created an extra trick for us. Mm. Um, and now we can draw the trumps, you see. Hope, we don't know that they're 4-1 at this stage. We're hoping right. they're 3-2. In which case, right. if Trump the 3-2, which is a 68% chance, by the way, for those who like percentages, we're going to make this contract. It's only now that we realize, okay, we're, we're, we're going to go down. Yeah. East yeah. has both the queen and the jack. There's just nothing we can do about it. But right. at least we've picked up that extra trick that we wouldn't have if we had started with the trumps. Exactly. So we've limited our losses uh, to one down, which isn't a bad result. Uh, you know, four, four space was very unlucky um, to go down. And there's nothing we can do. We have to lose to the Queen Jack of Spades. Well, thank you, Jack. Um, yeah, it's often these hands where, uh, uh, you know, when things aren't working out, <laughs> I tend to panic and just yeah. set the room on fire. And yeah. it's a challenge to remember, even if we know we're going down, we have to keep the losses to a minimum, stay focused, still look for the opportunities. Entirely right, you know, especially as most of us play duplicate bridge now, where over tricks and under tricks are vital. So it's all a matter of keeping a cool head. And just remembering, Bajir, this hand might be played, you know, if it's online, it can be played with loads of pairs at your bridge club, you know, 13 pairs, maybe 20 pairs, however many. Uh, but you've just got to think that everyone else is in this, probably in the same contract, and you've just got to try and do as, as well as you can. So, yeah, the thing is not to panic and think, if I go one down on this hand, I'm still probably going to get a reasonable result. Well, thank you, Jack. We appreciate you, your guidance, 
uh, to the folks who joined us today. Thank you for watching. Send in any interesting hands that you play. You can share them with us at hello at LBO on Bridgebase. You can export it and send it to hello LBO. Jack, we'll uh, send you some more hands. Thank you. And yeah, just remember, I'm teaching live on your website three times a week. Uh, if any of the viewers would like to join us, we always have a lot of fun. We would love to have you. Thanks, Jack. Bye for now.